In the Central, it's real simple. A Thomasdale win over Colonial Heights gives Dale the district title. A loss and a Meadowbrook win would send the Monarchs to the Division VI playoffs by way of a better power ranking. It's that win-or-go-home mentality that head coach Kevin Tucker has instilled in his team this week. We've told them the playoffs start for them this week. You know, yes, we should beat Colonial Heights, but at the same time, they're always going to be a well group, um, coach group kids. In the Dominion, it's more complicated. Three teams have one loss, but it's L.C. Bird in the Catbird seat. A win versus Clover Hill will clinch a share of the district crown and outpoint both Cosby and Manchester to advance to the playoffs. When it's all said and done, somebody will call you or somebody will post on the internet that you're playing somebody else if you're lucky enough to make the playoffs. And if you're not, you pack your stuff up and get ready for next year. Cosby is not done. They need to beat James River and hope the Cavaliers can pull the upset against Bird and the Titans would play in the postseason. We're taking this as this is our this is our playoff. For the last four weeks, it's been that way. Uh, we, we couldn't lose after we lost to Bird to stay in the hunt. North of the James, both Verona and Atlee will clinch the top seeds in the playoffs with victories. For the Raiders, it's a sharp contrast from a year ago when they needed a win just to make the playoffs. This season, a win against Lee Davis would mean home field advantage. And for us to have home field advantage, that's important to us because that's literally that's almost like having a 12th man because, you know, if, if, you, um, if you're not used to, to what we give, what our fans give, it's intimidating. And for a complete wrap-up of Week 10 here in the Central Region to include who's in and who's out, join us on Final Score Friday beginning at 11:15. Here at John Marshall, Sean Robertson, CBS 6 Sports.